All right, now on the 18th of September, two brave South Africans started the grueling 1,200 kilometer run, all in the name of, of raising funds for cancer patients and research. And the High Five Hope Run saw Sharon Jessup and Belinda Davids cover an average of 57 kilometers a day over three weeks to complete the journey from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth and uh, to chat about her cross country run. Sharon Jessup joins us on the line this morning. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Kat. How are you? Very, very well. Thank you so, so much. Uh, well done on making it back to Port Elizabeth. How are you feeling emotionally, physically after that grueling 1,200 kilometers? You know, actually totally fabulous, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the enthusiasm. That, I mean, you, you completed 57 kilometers a day. So, I mean, that's a lot of time that uh, you, you, you must have been alone in your own thoughts. Um, what went through your mind while you were running? So, you know, um, as I say to people that you can't do a journey like this and not be completely changed mm -hmm. by it. You know, when you spend five, six hours a day by yourself running, so many things go through your mind. It, it's quite amazing, yeah. you know. You see so many things. You you notice so much that you would never notice when you're not um, on your feet running. So <laughs> it's just, yeah, you, you really just go through such a transformation process. It's incredible. Yeah. And coming to the main point of why you were doing this run in the first place, that was to raise funds for cancer patients. Are you able to tell us how much you were able to raise and uh, what the money will be used for? Um, we still have some donations coming in. Um, unfortunately, we didn't raise as much as we wanted to raise. Um, so, you know, we're still hoping that people will actually open their hearts and their minds to us and, and donate. Yes. Um, the, the, the money that we raise will be used to fund um, actual treatment for cancer patients mm -hmm. um, that can't afford, um, especially alternative therapies. And then also a huge chunk of that will go for free education and training in terms of cancer. Yeah. You know, your early detection, your prevention, once you have it, what is the best nutrition to to take to um, aid the body to fight the cancer mm. and also what alternative therapies are available okay and so now with the Cape Town to PE challenge being over uh, like you said now people still can help if they would like to do so so how do we as the public get involved and help you raise more funds to fight against cancer well, fabulous. And um, the easiest way would either be to get hold of us on Facebook, the High Five Hope Run, okay. with the hashtag Cancer Will Fall, or also on our website, which is um, yhiyh2016.com. Mm -hmm. And there is a big red donate button on the actual website. And people are welcome to click on that and donate whatever they feel they can. Absolutely wonderful, Sharon. Congratulations to you and your partner and your team for this very inspirational run that you took on, all in the name of fighting for a great cause. And have a wonderful morning. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thanks, you too. All right, there we go. Sharon Jessup there joining us to let us know uh, all the details about the High Five uh, Hope Run that took place. Of course, that 1,200-kilometer journey, all in the name of fighting against cancer.